Hey guys, how are my beautiful people doing? Welcome back to my YouTube channel, my name is Dan. Today I'm gonna quickly review these two new sunscreens from SDR. We have the Ultra Matte Gel. Oh, come on. And we have the uh, Muse Cream Optical Blur, which sounds fancy, but actually I prefer the Ultra Matte Gel. Um, before I start, consider following me on Instagram, subscribe to this channel for more skincare content. And <laughs> check out my TikTok, I post short videos on TikTok, and um, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Patreon. So if you guys follow this channel, I guess you remember this one. I was raving about this one last year, the Ultra Matte Gel. Basically, it was the first and the only matte sunscreen that I've tried at that time. Um, actually matte sunscreen, because many sunscreens claim they are matte, but they're actually not. This was actually matte. Had a very interesting texture. Uh, this one, it is the same sunscreen, but they, uh, they've reformulated it now and it only contains new generation filter, which is amazing for me. I love that. Um, and besides that, there's not much difference, <laughs> to be honest. It's still the same amazing uh, dry gel texture that spreads very nicely on the skin, leaves you with a matte finish. Yeah, it's basically the same product, but just better protection and less sensitizing for the skin. And now I'm gonna open the window because it's hot in here and I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> Price is the same, $12, $15 in some places for 50 ml of product. Um, alcohol free, it does contain fragrance though. It's the same fragrance. If you don't like the previous version's fragrance, you're not gonna like this one. Fragrance in this one might be a little bit less potent, but I, I don't have the older version to actually compare them. The formula didn't really change much. It's still not gonna let me safe. Um, but what I really love about this one is that they have excluded all the old generation fi chemical filters. They did put this little ocean respect on the package. I guess now because they're only using new generation filters, they can do this. Uh, same with the other sunscreen. Um, and basically that's it, I guess. Just some uh, nice improvements in this one. Same, uh, it has the same feel on the skin, same finish, basically, like I said, nothing changed there. They use this um, volatile silicone, a high amount of that, um, iso isodoricane, I guess that's how you pronounce it. Um, and many, many other silicones. Of course, it still has the same silicone feel, which some people might not like, some people find it greasy, I guess. I, I don't find it greasy, I just find it like silky and nice, I love how it feels. Um, offers very very nice and high spreadability on the skin so yeah I'm a huge fan of this one um, and the next one the the blur one I'm actually not a huge fan of this one uh, same price same filters just a different a uh, little bit of a different order even only plus even only 150 UV absorb HEB and then Tinosorb S they switched the last two uh, UV filters it still has the same fragrance and it's not for what is safe. Now, I thought this one is gonna be even more matte than the um, ultra matte one because it has silica as the second ingredient, uh, which is a mattifying powder. So I thought the inclusion of that is gonna make the sunscreen much more matte and it's gonna keep your skin more matte. But for some reason, it actually doesn't. It's more, it looks more shiny than the ultra matte sunscreen. Uh, it's still one of the least shiny sunscreens I have but yeah, another thing that I didn't really like about this one is the way it spreads on the skin. It's kind of hard to spread it on your skin. It doesn't really have much spreadability. And uh, because of that, sometimes I feel like I have missing areas and I would apply even more sunscreen, even more than necessary sometimes, which is not really that bad, but still like, I don't, I don't really want to deal with that. So uh, now when I'm applying this one, I tend to apply more than needed to actually get the coverage for my entire face because it doesn't spread that well it's just i feel in my head that i have some skip some missing areas which you should not have <laughs> basically those are my main uh, com complaints about this one the fact that it doesn't have much spreadability and um it's more shiny than i expected it's still good it still has more of a natural glow um kind of blurs, blurs my pores, but I still feel like the Ultra Matte blurs my pores even more, even though this one is advertised to do so. Um, I like that it dries down, uh, it, it has a dry touch finish after it dries down, you cannot, 
feel any stickiness or anything, it just feels dry, which I, I really, really like. Um, it's not a bad sunscreen, it's just like, I have a better one from the same brand. <laughs> uh, but like I said, this one doesn't sting my eyes at all, so that's, that's a good, that's a plus. What else I wanted to mention? I never tried the old version of the Muse Blur, Blur Optical Blur. Um, I think, I remember the old version having also a lot of old generation filters that they've now replaced with new generation filters. So uh, if you like the old formula, the new formula is going to be even better most probably for you. Um, but I'm not going to purchase the, the Blur one, just because it doesn't really work for me. I'm gonna finish it up though. Uh, and basically that's my review. I just wanted to update you guys on the new formula, share my opinions about this one, the, these sunscreens, and uh, let me know what you think about the reformulation. Have you noticed any difference? Um, let me know what other sunscreens I should check, leave some questions, questions, questions in the comments below. I uh, might address those in future videos. Love you all, see you all in my next video. Bye.